Welcome to the unboxing and review of the Olight S10 Baton. Um, before we do the unboxing, let's have a quick look at the box itself. So, it gives you a stated 320 lumen output. I believe that's out the front lumens, not ANSI. Uh, <laughs> an 85 meter uh, reach, no way. Uh, 360 hour runtime on the moonlight mode, sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, two meter uh, drop, that's yeah, that's pretty standard, and uh, two meter waterproofness, which is um, and basically saying that it's IPX8 rated. Uh, anything on the top? Nothing on the sides. All right, we make a world of difference. Sure you do. Uh, features, compact design with a uh, side switch, convenient for everyday carry use. We'll look at that. Max 320 lumen output, runtime up to 15 days. I guess that's uh, the 360 hours there. That's under moonlight mode. High efficiency, constant current drive circuit. Um, basically, they're saying it's regulated, perfectly compatible with a CR123A. That's a single one of them. Or... Are rechargeable 123, so an RCR 123. Um, it's got a reversible pocket clip, which we'll look at in a second. Um, it's got a magnetic tail cap, which again I'll, I'll demonstrate. And like usual, this is a high quality product made in China. So, you know, if that's going to put you off, you can pay 10 times the price and get a surefire. Nothing wrong with that. So, what do we get? We get. Um, uh, let's see, I'm not too sure, I've not even looked at what you get. I think it's a lanyard, a split ring, and an O-ring or something? Okay, so we have here a split ring, which you can put on. Uh, you have yourself a lanyard, um, reasonable lanyard. Uh, I dropped something there, you've got a, oh, you got yourself a weird O-ring here. Hmm, no idea what that would be for. Okay. Click like a mini donut, and you've got a regular O ring, which, yeah, I'm used to seeing O rings like that. One of them, okay. So, what else do we have in here? A oh, let's see if we can get it out. You've got yourself a, a manual, okay. So, blah blah blah. Okay, what have you got? You've got a flashlight, you've got a lanyard, you've got a flying ring. Could that be the split ring? Could that be the, that big fat O-ring? Who knows? Uh, nothing important. Uh, we will go over this. I'm going to use this as my cheat sheet, actually. You got your warranty now. Good thing. Uh, you get a two-year warranty from the date of purchase, which is awesome. Um, and the other side's Chinese, so we'll leave that. Uh, let's grab the flashlight and have a look at the flashlight itself. Move this stuff out the road. Okay. This is a tiny tiny little flashlight. Um, for a size comparison, I'm going to bring over the standard um, mini mag, like the uh, AA. And, uh, well, yeah, the, 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 the S10 Baton is absolutely dwarfed by the, the mag light. In fact, you could probably get like two of them. Yeah, you can get more than two of them. Uh, in terms of head diameter, very comparable. Very, very comparable. And, and uh, the back, yeah, the, 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 the Olight's a little bit thicker because it's running a CR123, which is a thicker battery. But uh, on the whole, super compact, and you can see the, the side clicky there. So let's have a look at the little construction. Now, the construction itself for this dinky little flashlight is uh, aluminium. It's uh, aircraft-grade aluminium. Uh, it has... Uh, well, IPX8 rating waterproofing, so basically you can dunk this in up to uh, 12 feet of water for 24 hours, and it should work. Uh, it should work. I, I know there are some IPX rated stuff that don't hold up, but generally, you know, Olight's a good company. Their stuff holds up really, really well. Uh, the construction itself is aircraft grade aluminium, so it should be solid. I mean, for a for a uh, for a flashlight this size, you're not going to have a lot of materials, so you're not going to have a lot to crush. You could probably roll a, uh, a truck over this, and I reckon it'd be okay. Uh, it feels it feels really solid. You've got an anti-roll ring here. Is it necessary? No. I mean, if you took the pocket clip, oh, no, the pocket clip itself is black painted. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's, uh, well... When I say painted, I mean anodized. I don't think it's uh, uh, like a special titanium finish or anything like that. So I'm guessing it will rub off. 
it's a weird shape pocket clip actually a really weird shape pocket clip um I'm not sure if you'd have issues getting stuff in and out. Now, I tried getting it into uh, my pocket earlier on to just to try this, and yeah. You don't, you can't, if you've got thick uh, jeans or anything, well, for regular jeans, it should be okay, but I tried putting it on joggers and it got stuck trying to get over this lip and then through this little narrow part here. It was a mission, but the biggest advantage of that is you are not going to lose this. If you clip this, well, if you can manage to clip it in, you will not lose it. It's awesome, that little pocket clip. It's, it's, it's stiff. I mean, that is a good quality steel there. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the head itself. Um, this looks like a stainless steel uh, bezel ring. Now, I tried unscrewing it, thinking it's an um, a screw-down one. It isn't. It doesn't... It, if it is... Screw oh, well, there you go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Once again, the bezel ring catches me out. Yeah, it's a screw-in uh, screw bezel ring. So I'm guessing if you could find an aftermarket one with crenellations or wherever you wanted, you could put that in. Um, Sapphire-coated uh, glass, so it should avoid the majority of scratches. You've got an O-ring in here, a red one that you can see, and um, it's, uh, it's anti-reflective coated as well, dual coated, so you should minimize the number of reflections in there. Let me put this back in, we'll have a look at the emitter head itself in a bit more detail. Let me, let me just zoom in here, so, well, not zoom in, but focus in on this. Right, so what do we have? We've got a light orange peel ref, actually it doesn't really look light, it looks more like a, a heavy orange peel reflector. They just say orange peel reflector, so I'll go with that. You've got a Cree XML T6 LED, which is, do you know what? I don't think that's perfectly centered. It isn't. It's a little bit off. Um, is it an issue? Nah, not really. I don't really care. Uh, it won't really make a massive difference. From from the beam, pa beam patterns that I've seen, and uh, that you'll see in a second, um, it's fine. You, it doesn't do much. So, uh, yeah, this has, this is a cool white, and T6 XML, but it's got a greenish tint, and I'll, I'll show in comparison. Do not know if it will show up well in the camera, though. I want to show you um, the rest of the construction. So if I if I unscrew this, let's focus, focus, focus. There we go. So if I move the mag light out the way, move that garbage out the road. Okay, so you have. Okay, so you can make that out. You've got trapezoidal threads there. There's a little bit of silicon grease on this. And you have a nice O-ring right here where my fingernail is, if you can see that. Um, thin, thin, thin sidewall construction, but perfect for the size of flashlight. You're looking about a millimeter. That is perfect. You don't need any more than that. Uh, you've, got your, you've got your spring there. Decent, decent construction. Simple. This is a simple flashlight. It's not. It's not designed to be a, um, you know, a tactical flashlight or a weapon. <laughs> Could you use it as a weapon-mounted flashlight? Uh, no, no, it it wouldn't work. It, you'd be better off with like a uh, one of the Phoenix TK series uh, lights. They're they're better for that purpose. Back of this, you have yourself a magnet. So the magnet's awesome on this. I'll stick a battery in just now so that we can use it. I'm just going to use a regular Energizer CR123. Okay, and then I'm going to screw this back on here. Okay, now... Okay, that's it screwed on. Let me find something metal I can... Do you know what? Let me see if I've got something on me. Yep, okay, so here's my uh, Spyderco... Um, Lightweight Manix 2, and there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Sticks on there, pretty strong actually. In fact, you could probably, yeah, lift the knife up without too much problem. So, yeah, I mean, okay, it's a lightweight knife, but uh, picks it up. Have I got any other one here? Yep, got my uh, little Delica. Picks up the Delica as well, another lightweight knife, but uh, yeah, so works superb in that respect and move these over here so i don't cut myself and yeah so really good really good magnet here you can stick this to the hood of your car when you're doing work or you can stick it to the body of the car as well unless it's one of those modern aluminium cars and uh you can do whatever you need to do stick it to whatever i think it's a great feature this i know some people don't like having magnets on their on their on their flashlights i, I think it's great it's a good little feature to have 
So let's have a look at the actual um, beam pattern itself. Now if I switch it on, now if I just press and hold it, it goes into the lowest mode. Now I'm going to have to use that cheat sheet because I do not know the numbers offhand. This is apparently 0 0.5 lumens. That seems more than 0 0.5 lumens to me. Yeah, I think it is more than 0 0.5 lumens. Let me, let me see. Yeah, it is. It's more. Hmm. What if I press and hold it? Ah! Ha 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 ha! We have the 0 0.5 lumen mode now. Okay, yeah. So, what I did there was, if you just press and turn it on, I think it, it remembers your last mode, and my last mode happened to be the, uh, what was it? It would have been the 5 lumen mode. So, that's what it went back to when I turned it on. This, I, to get into moonlight mode, you press and hold it, and it goes into moonlight mode. In the moonlight mode, you're looking at that 15 day runtime. It's half a lumen, which is what, 360 hours? Superb. Um, if I press and hold it, that's the way to get to the next level. If I double click it, it goes into strobe mode, which I'll, I'll, I'll look at in a second. But if I press and hold it, that's gone on to the 5 lumen mode. At 5 lumens, you'll get 108 hours. That's awesome. From 1, CR 123, 100, over 100 hours. Amazing. Um, crank it up again. It goes into the 7 lumen mode. Uh, no, no, I didn't crank it up. I turned it off. I need to press and hold, don't I? Aha. So it's gone into the 70 lumen mode, which will give you 7.5 hours runtime. Now that's... That's really good, seven and a half hours runtime from one CR 123, and you're getting 70 lumens. Try comparing that to a mag light. The mag light is going to give you nowhere near that output and nowhere near that runtime, and it takes two double A's. Okay, I know it's alkalines versus lithium battery, but still. Um, and if I press and hold it again, it will go up to the 320 lumens for one and a half hours runtime. Wow. From this package, from something this size, 320 lumens. I mean, that's it's a thumb size light. It's it's a thumb drive. I, I don't have a thumb drive to hand, but if I sat it beside a thumb drive, it's the same freaking size. Okay, thicker, but hey, the Corsair. Uh, oh, oh gosh, what's that one called again? The um, the one that's aluminium and you can like throw it all over the place. I can't remember, but uh, I've got one of them. It's the same size as that. It's in fact, it's slightly smaller than that. I think. Um. Yeah, 320 lumens, 1 hour 30 minute runtime. Run now, have a look at that flood. That is an amazingly good flood uh, you're getting from this. Now, that's, that's down to the orange peel reflector. And if I go into the strobe mode, which let's uh, double click. Nice. you got a nice uh, strobe mode there. Uh, again, it looks on the lens. Uh, I'm looking at the camera and it's a little bit weird it looks on that. There's nothing like that here. This is just a pure good quality strobe and I reckon you'll get about two hours one time out of that maybe a bit more two and a half uh, at a push uh, they claim 85 meter distance not a chance uh, not a chance not <laughs> with a head that size and um, not with an orange peel reflector uh, no sir uh, 30, 30 meters 30 meters useful anything beyond that and you're really going beyond the scope of something this size I guess if you want to uh, register that there is some light at that distance, it would do it, but nah. Uh, like I've already said, it's IPX rated waterproofness, so um, yeah, it's all good there. Uh, two meters impact resistance. Haven't tested it, can't vouch for it, but I'm pretty sure um, it will be. In fact, I'm looking at this, there's a gap now that when I screw this back on, it looks to be a gap, so maybe I haven't screwed it on right. Let's just see. Uh, I don't know. don't know what's going on here. I'll need to I'll need to check on that. Uh, okay, so uh, let's look at the the way to this. What is a way to this? Does it happen to say yes? It does. Forty two grams without the battery. Uh, sorry guys, that's about an ounce and a half. Um, length is seventy point five millimeters, and width is just under an inch. That's without the pocket clip at twenty three millimeters. Lastly, value. Is this flashlight? Good value. Well, that just comes down to what you're used to spending on a flashlight and what you intend to use it for. Something like this is coming in at round about, uh, I can't remember, 30 
pounds if I had to hazard a guess. The details will be in the description below and a link from where I recommend you buy it. But uh, I, I think it's round about that. But 30 quid for something that gives you 320 lumens? Come on. That's, that's awesome. You could pay double that and still not get that much output. Um, especially not something as small, lightweight and easy to carry as this. This, if, if you're going to go out in the wilderness, you're going to go out camping, this is all you need. This, grab a spare CR123 stick and a Delwyn battery locker, take it with you, and uh, you've got ample amount of power, ample amount of lighting, and with all the different modes, you know, the, the ability to put it into moonlight mode, um, and then take it from whatever you want from there. You know, if you want it in half a lumen, you want it at five lumens, you want it in strobe mode, you want it, you're going to be here walking down the street and there's a potential attacker, you want to get away, daze them. Uh, I don't know if this will work, but it's worth a try. It's better than having nothing. Uh, you want to use it as a little weapon. You want to crack them on the head. It will do it. It's solid enough to cope with it. I recommend you get this, the Olight S10 Baton. Now, if you like what you saw, you like the flashlight, Please, please leave some comments below. Hit the like button that's, you know, down that bottom corner there. Hit the subscribe button just that you can see now. It will be greatly appreciated. There are many more flashlight review. I'm going to be doing a review on these two crazy things. Uh, if you like the, the, the lanyard on this, uh, I'll tell you where you can get that as well. But, uh, many more Spyderco reviews to come. Uh, thanks for watching, folks.